Hi friends, uh, so today we will be uh, taking a new analysis of a simple cantilever beam. Uh, so this will be a one uh, consist of uh, all 1D elements. So we will straight away uh, find a new file in a folder cantilever. Right, so here you can give any name, I just put one. Uh, pattern doesn't find that name so it is asking to uh, it is asking whether it can create a cantilever file with that name so now I'll create a geometry with a one point is at the origin point location that is uh, 0 0 0 another point is out here I'll create a curve uh, from this two point so one is this one one is this one curve is made now what I'll do is taking the material and so I'll take it as aluminium with the uh, Young's modulus of 70,000 megapascal. 0 0.3 is the poison ratio. Apply. Uh, material is created. Just remember whatever is the unit of E value, that is modulus of elasticity in materials, that will be that is uh, set as the standard unit in pattern. Uh, so I'll just mesh it mesh that curve this is the curve uh, here I have meshed nodes are not seen so I'll just put it on it is very coarse so I'll just refine it further making it 5 now just see the nodes okay and now uh, go for the loadings uh, sorry uh, the boundary conditions I'll just fix uh, all the boundary conditions at the extreme end and we'll put some load on the other end to show the cantilever behavior is the application region i'll select uh, all the oh sorry i'll select this particular node where that boundary condition will be applied see one two three four five six is written down here uh, now i'll take a force just give some name here force i'll take this as uh, zero minus hundred zero so in the application region I will take this one add ok and apply so it's like this a negative uh, load of 100 Newton is applied at the free end and this particular end is fixed with all translations and rotation motions uh, now I have to take properties see I will take beam properties out here now the thing exactly to be learned over here is how to set the bar orientations uh, first I'll take a uh, cross section let us take it as a I section sorry I section I'm selecting this one say uh, this one I'm taking 5 uh, this is thickness is 2 uh, H1 if it is 8 H2 will be something around 12 so okay uh, i section is taken here now body orientation see here that bar orientation that uh, cross section will be in the yz plane so bar orientation will be either 0 1 0 or 0 0 1 so we have to find the effect of it 0 1 0 i'll first take 0 1 0 i'll also show you what will be the effect if i take it 0 0 1 so I'm just giving the orientation you see what way things will look like if I take the 3d full span it looks like this with the uh, depth is maximum in this position so if I take the other orientation depth will be less so if depth is less uh, moment of inertia will be less then stresses will be high so in this particular orientation we are having a very high D over here and with that we will get a large moment of inertia that will go for reduced stresses uh, I'll see the effect of the orientation just see if I modify and this particular thing and give 0 0 1 instead ok and apply see it is like this ok uh, first we will see the effect of this so analyze enter model analysis deck just run and this thing last run 
access result select result file okay apply so in the result i'll see beam stresses bar stresses bending sorry uh, see we are getting a maximum stress of the order of uh, 292 megapascal at the fixed end okay and uh, so just remember it is 292 megapascal and the displacement is of the order of uh, 3.99 or 4 mm displacement at the free end uh, so stress point what we it's uh, particularly of our interest is something like 292 megapascal uh, now i will do one thing i'll just change the bar orientation and see the effect of uh, the maximum stresses okay uh, just see here i just modify that beam so 001 no i'll just make it 100 one zero zero right apply so if i am putting it one zero zero display i'm sorry we cannot put it one zero zero i'll put it zero properties apply sorry here it is wrongly written so now it is like this and i have to analyze once again just remember earlier it was something around 292 megapascal now we will see the effect of it it should go down because the moment of inertia has increased Access result. Come to the result page and go for our stresses. See, it is only 75. Earlier it was 292. And 75 megapascal is the bar stress bending at the fixed end. Uh, so the stresses uh, have significantly gone down uh, because the moment of inertia has increased. Uh, so this has really brought down the stresses we will see displacement translation this has also gone down considerably compared to the earlier result uh, so now if you want to animate you can see the behavior of the loading of a cantilever beam so friends uh, we have learned uh, the basic application of cantilever beam and the effect of bar orientations uh, over the results so you can basically select any particular orientation and uh, see the effect uh, uh, that is uh, being uh, felt and the cantilever being upon loading so that's it friend if you have any if you want to know any theoretical validation of the same problem you get back to us through our website uh, uh, www.dsnaerospace.com uh, contact us we'll get back to you with all your questions and queries thank you friends thank you very much